started SUNO after the post-election violence that happened in Kenya about two years ago. Um, I wanted to do something there and not just write a check to the Red Cross. Uh, and I thought that if I started a business there, something that brought good press to Kenya and a new and different kind of optimistic press that wasn't about coffee or flowers or safaris or aid, um, I felt like maybe start a fashion company because I knew nothing about starting a fashion company. <laughs> we produced in little workshops in Kenya and now the workshops are growing and the tailors are getting better and better and you know. The team is growing. How has it been like the process of like taking it from Kenya and producing the show here? Because this has been like well, we, we produce the, the samples here. We design and develop here in New York in the garment district and so all the samples and the patterns are made here and then we take that to Kenya and make it there. And really the idea isn't that it, it looks so African, it's that it looks so optimistic and inspired which is really the feeling that you get when you're there. You know, it's, it's, it's trying to bring that hope and joy for something new and change um, into a collection. It's awesome. Last night, the truth is that I called Aaron at midnight, freaking out because I had nothing to do. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. It's it's crazy. Thank you. It's crazy. We arrived here at 3:30, and and here we are. So, but you know, if you're gonna produce out of Africa, if you're gonna make your samples here, if you're gonna be complicated, you better be you better you better know what you're doing. So, um, we really try to be thoughtful from design through finishing product. Thank you so much. Thank you.